In this video, we will be exploring the groundbreaking EL9 Ultra Short Hybrid Electric Aircraft by Electra Aero. It is a nine passenger piloted aircraft that defines air travel without airports, emissions, or noise. Just imagine an aircraft that can generate three times the lift on wings compared to similar sized aircraft. It can take off with a ground roll eight times less than a comparable aircraft. It can fly as slow as 35 knots without stalling and yet can achieve a high cruise speed of 175 knots. The aircraft developer Electra has already achieved all of this with their technology demonstrator two-seater prototype. And now it is entering the next phase of development with the EL9. The utility of this aircraft cannot be emphasized enough. With a range of 1100 nautical miles, excluding reserves, it can not just surf the 50 to 500 mile gap, but also venture beyond regional flight category for transports of goods and passengers. Not only that, but it will be super quiet with a noise level of just 75 decibels at 300 feet, which is comparable to road traffic. The long range and quietness of this aircraft is a reflection of its high efficiency. There are eight motors along the leading edge of the wing, resulting in dramatic improvement in aerodynamic performance. By blowing air over the wing and large flaps with an array of electric motors, the ultra-short aircraft multiplies the amount of lift the wing makes at very slow speeds. Electra has mentioned that the key is in the accelerated airflow forming a thick jet sheet coming off the trailing edge of the wing, making the wing act virtually larger than it physically is. In climb and cruise, the blowing is reduced and flaps are stored for ultra-efficient operations. Looking back at the development of Electra, its prototype demonstrator, the TD2, has seen a bit of evolution itself. Its wings were sourced from the Cessna 172, the original design of the TD2 intended to use the same off-the-shelf 4000 RPM motors on all eight propellers. However, the output propellers have since been redesigned with scimitar-shaped blades to reduce the noise and increase the thrust by 30%, allowing even shorter takeoffs. The four inboard propellers blow over the large Fowler double-slotted flaps that decline by 70 degrees and generate most of the lift while the four outboard propellers blow over the ailerons, which decline by 25 degrees. This generates lift, but the outboard motors are mostly used for yaw and roll control and augment the rudder. The production aircraft EL9 will have full-span flaperons. The total power of the motor used in the TD2 amounted to 150 kilowatts, while the nine-seater will have a powertrain of 600 kilowatts. The power for these motors comes from two liquid-cooled batteries located under the fuselage, but the rage comes from the use of a turbo generator. The turbo generators are incredibly lightweight and can provide a very high amount of electric power. For example, Rolls-Royce's turbo generator system for hybrid electric aircraft has a power-to-weight ratio of around 4 kilowatts per kilogram. By comparison, batteries can deliver just 1.5 kilowatts per kilogram and only for a short amount of time. Another notable thing about the TD2 prototype was the rather large horizontal stabilizer on the tail. This was to keep up with the high amount of lift generated by the front wings. The upcoming EL9 is backed by over an year of successful flight testing of its predecessor two-seat prototype. It would be interesting to look at the specification of the EL9 and compare them to the Cessna Caravan, which has a similar 9-seat capacity. The range of the EL9 is 21% higher. The cruise speed for both aircraft is similar. The real difference is noted in the takeoff ground roll, with the EL9 requiring 8 times less the runway land to take to the skies. The performance specs indicate that the Electra EL9 looks poised to provide the benefits of both a helicopter in the form of a small landing footprint and fixed-wing aircraft with its long range. It can take off from small airstrips, which are ubiquitous, providing easier access to urban centers compared to airports. When it comes to developing new aircraft, 
one thing that is often overlooked is the certification process. Because the Electra EL9 is not an EVA toll, hence it doesn't fall into the power lift category, and this makes the certification process much easier. Electra plans to fly a prototype of the nine passenger production aircraft in 2025 with certification and entry into service in 2028 under the FAA Part 23 regulation. Electra has designed the e-stall aircraft so that the hydrogen or battery electric propulsion system can be used in the future when those technologies are commercially viable. In the race for developing urban air mobility aircraft, Electra is a top contender. And it is there because it has kept things simple. Perhaps this is why Electra currently holds letters of intent from more than 30 customers for over 1,200 of EL line, totaling more than 4 billion US dollars in market demand. And with this, the video is concluded. If you learned something from it, then please do give it a thumbs up. Thank you for your attention.